Hello, my name is Stephen Thomas, and welcome to my short. Let's talk here about what happens when you get an unexpected 404 error after redeploying your Logic App Standard into Azure. First off, let's take a look. I have Postman here. Here's my request. I have a pass request open here where it's passing in a order number and getting the status of that order number by hitting SQL. Let's run this again. Sure enough, I get a 404. Exact same URL, made no changes to that. So let's find out what could be wrong with this. Let's take a look here at the workflow. Very simple workflow. HTTP in, HTTP out, and that store procedure call in the middle. Let's start trying to troubleshoot this by looking at our solution in the cloud. Here's that Logic App Standard, the workflow that I have deployed. It's called Get Status. Let's dive into this. As you can see here, there are past successful executions, but ever since I made some recent changes in VS Code and redeployed, I'm getting that 404 error, which doesn't make any sense. This URL is correct, so there must be some other problem. So let's dive into this designer. I'm going to simply come over here, click on designer, and take a look at what we have in here. And everything looks fine in here. Uh, one thing that could be the problem that I've found in the past is there could be some sort of validation error or some sort of problem inside this logic app that's causing it not to actually execute or even surface itself as an endpoint. Best way to find that, I can simply add a junk action in here. I call it a junk action. Just looking for something to rerun the validation that is done when you save a logic app in the portal. I'm going to grab a compose shape here. I'm going to say hi and leave it at that. I'm going to actually save that logic app. And when I save it, it does do validation again of this logic app. And sure enough, you can find out that there is a problem with this workflow. So it's not going to actually save this logic app. Specific about what the error is. So now I'm able to try to troubleshoot this as a problem with my input parameter of order ID. Now, in addition to this, there's one other way to try to find out what the problem might be before I even come in here and was to touch this designer. If I go back to the main overview, say discard and not saving any changes to that logic app. If I come back here to the main logic app that I was at, when you go to the root of your logic app, up here at the top, if you give it a few moments, you will see the error as it revalidates the workflows in that logic app. So here again, it tells you similar error message about the order ID, and that is going to be a problem. So with this information, I would go back to my code in VS Code, take a look at my store procedure, because I know I have an order ID input parameter, and I'll move it over here so you can see it. And sure enough, there is a problem with that input parameter. There's the at sign in the parameter. If I delete this, redeploy, everything's going to work just like it was before. So the moral of the story here is if you're getting an unexpected 404 in your logic app after a redeploy, open that up in the portal, and it does a little bit more richer validation and can point you to where the problem is. Hope you like this, and don't forget to like and subscribe.